There we go. Let's start off at the top then. Top of the circle, we have Pat, who is... Pat is going to be our undertaker this game. So every time, every night, uh, if someone was executed the previous day, I will wake him up and I will, uh, in person, I would show him the token. But in online, I will tell him the the character that that person had, the person who was executed. Very powerful. Um, <laughs> next, next we, we have, have Aggie. Aggie. Mm, Aggie is this game's imp. Um, Not notably, interestingly, Adam set up this game on a random set of names, uh, which did include Aggie, and then I reset it up with the actual names we were having playing this game. Both times Aggie was the imp, so this was fated <laughs> from the start. So what does the imp do, Ed? So, uh, the imp, uh, every night, apart from the first night, will get to kill someone, um, and... If at any point they feel like that they've got too much heat on them or and they want to to move the demon hood around, they can choose to kill themselves and make their minion the imp instead. So this is the an ability that's specific to the imp. Uh, most demons will kill people, but the imp's special ability is to go, nope, I don't like this, I'm in too much trouble, and to kill themselves and jump to someone else. Note that this only works when they themselves kill themselves. If they get executed, that that isn't part of the ability. It's specifically if they kill themselves at night, they can jump to a minion. Um, do you want to keep going around? Yeah, who have we got next? We have so Tyler. Tyler, Tyler who many of you know from streaming, um, so you already recognize this face, who is the Virgin. The Virgin ability reads, the first time you are nominated, if the nominator is a townsfolk, they are executed immediately. Um, I'm just checking. You haven't got the script on here. So... Um, Basically, uh, yeah, if there are certain characters that are townsfolk, certain characters that are classified as outsiders, and then minions, and then the demon. Um, so as long as the person who nominates Tyler, the first person who nominates Tyler is a townsfolk, they will be executed immediately, they'll die, but that is a hard confirmation that Tyler is the virgin, because that's the only way that that can happen. Um, the only way that you can suddenly end end the day with an execution in during the day is if Tyler uh, is actually the virgin and that ability procs. So next we have Noel, who is going to be the librarian this game. Uh, the librarian ability being, you start knowing that one of two players is a particular outsider, or that zero are in play. In this game, you sh we should have, uh, as you can probably see in the middle of the screen there, it's the bottom row in the very middle, middle says 5211, so there should be five townsfolk, two outsiders, one minion, one demon. So there should be two outsiders, and there are, which we'll get to shortly. So Noel is going to see that one of two people is a specific outsider. Uh, next round the circle, we have our first outsider. Chris is the recluse. One second. Um, the recluse, one second. God, say. Here comes. Here comes. Boom. Did we do? We went librarian as well, and I skipped over that. Yes. Oof. There we go. There's the librarian symbol too. Thank you. Nice. Um, so the recluse ability, uh, you might register as evil and as a minion or demon, even if dead. So if at any point there's any ability that looks at Chris, I can choose whether I want him to look like evil, just uh, to look like an evil minion, to look like an evil demon, or whether I actually want him to register as the good recluse. Um, that's completely up to me. It will be based on game balance and what I think is going to be the most interesting. Um, uh, those of you that haven't encountered Clock Tower before will go, this is a terrible ability. Why would anyone want this? Um, this these are what outsiders are for. Um, basically, as you increase player numbers, uh, you can't just keep adding good and evil players, uh, well, townsfolk and demons or minions because you'll uh, misbalance the game in one direction or another so outsiders are there to act sort they're on the good team so they're another good vote they're another good nominator they're another good voice but their ability is not so good and it's sort of balancing out the the fact you're adding an additional good player yeah townsfolks have ability that help the town outsiders are a hindrance to the town but still good players still trying to get to the win with good absolutely um so Next Speaking of hindrances to the team. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have Nikki, uh, the worst possible person to draw the Saint token. Uh, the Saint ability is an another outsider. If you are executed, your team loses. So Nikki is good um, because he has a blue token. He is the Saint. Um, so if Nikki is executed at any point, the good team loses. 
Um, note that that's executed. If he's killed at night, that's great, as because uh, when you're dead, you lose your ability. So it's absolutely no problem that at that point he he can't be executed because he's dead and has no ability. But if he's executed during the day, the good team loses. Uh, next round the circle, we have Hazel. Uh, Hazel is this game's spy. Spy, one of the best characters in Blood on the Clock Tower. Um, it's a minion character, so Hazel's job is to keep Aggie alive the, as long as humanly possible. Um, Hazel is perfectly willing to die herself in order to keep Aggie alive. Hazel is willing to do pretty much anything to help the evil team win. It's all about uh, Aggie as far as Hazel's concerned. Um, so, the spy ability specifically is each night you see the grimoire so each night hazel's going to see exactly which characters everyone is and all the reminder tokens and things that i have set up to help me run the game also uh she might register as good and as a townsfolk or an outsider even if she's dead so sort of the reverse of the recluse where the recluse can look evil hazel can seem good um, which is useful because hazel is sat next to marshall who is our empath um so empath each night you learn how many of your two alive neighbors alive neighbors are evil so marshall being the empath set next to the spy uh, if hazel was any other minion marshall would guaranteed be getting a one tonight because he sat next to an evil player as it happens marshall is sat next to the spy so tonight i'm going to be registering hazel as good so that marshall gets a zero none of his alive neighbors are evil and so we'll move on to his last neighbor um the last player around this circle is madeline who is our mayor uh the mayor ability reads if only three players live and no execution occurs your team wins if you die at night another player might die instead so the primary ability for the mayor is if we get down to right down to that end game when it's sort of the do or die moment for town if madeline can convince everyone that she is in fact the mayor the good team will win by not executing anyone um the bonus ability that she has that sort of helps get to that point is that if at night the imp tries to kill her i can choose for game balance reasons to bounce that kill to someone else um to keep the mayor alive and have someone else die instead um it obviously very much depends on how the game's going at that point as to whether i want to do that um but that's basically there to give them slightly more of a chance to get to that final three where their ability can proc okay is there anything else you want us to go through adam that's that was brilliant that was wonderful thank you very much ed uh maybe we should go say hi to everyone do you want to go warn them we're coming up there i'll do that see you in a sec so chat as you can see we see everyone's faces so be nice to everyone when we're being in chat i have removed whoever that was that was talking about marrying someone's daughter for those awareness i don't have any children i am barren in that department but anyway let's go ahead let's go ahead and say hi to everyone let's go ahead and say hi i don't know why i said that i'm sorry guys let's say hi That's Hey, <laughs> Nikki, Nikki was early. Would you like to give us that enthusiasm again, Nikki? I was saying we should be like a TV, kids TV show where it's like, hello, everybody. And then everybody waves. Hello, chat. So go around the circle. We have Pat, your demon. Sorry, was I on cat? Oh, shit. Re-rack, Ed, re-rack. All right. So, uh, so everyone. You haven't been given your roles yet, but are we ready to play our first ever on-cam game of Blood on the Clock Tower? Let's do it. <laughs> yep. Good. Yeah. Right? We're playing this with everyone can see us, but we can't see each other, and that's how you want it to be, right? That's not how I want it to be, Hazel, but that is how it is. Okay. <laughs> that is not how I want it to be at all. Chat. Shut it. I'm being Chat. Chat. As I mentioned at the start, we were having a little bit of camera issue to start this off, and unfortunately... I couldn't get it set up so they could see each other, just that you can see them. They're at a disadvantage, but that's fine by me. We'll fix that for the next time we play Blood on the Clock Tower with cameras. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Ed, do you want to kick us off into Night Phase? Yeah, let's do this thing. All right, rock out. Woo. Rock out. Woo. <laughs>
Hey, Ed. One thing I realised we didn't cover were the bluffs. Yes. Um, I wasn't sure if you had a way to put them up on screen, so I was. I do. Off. Just let me know. Cool. Um, so the bluffs that I'm going to be giving Aggie. Uh, so one of the rules of Clock Tower is um, the demon on the first night gets given three good characters, three good characters that are not in play. Which so it's basically to give the evil team a bit of a chance to bluff things that they don't have to just randomly guess other characters on the sh on the sheet that aren't in play. Uh, the demon gets told three, which is great in a game where there's you know three or fewer evil players. If there's more than that someone's still going to have to do that random guess of a, of a of a character that might not be in play and might not double claim. Um, but in this game, Aggie's going to be getting three not in play bluffs, which are the chef, uh, which reads, bah, bah, bah. you start knowing how many pairs of evil players there are. So if there's two evil players that sat next to each other um, and that's it in the entire circle, that should, they'd get a one. If there's um, a pair over here and a pair over there, that would be two different pairs. Um, obviously, the recluse can count for this information. Uh, the next one is the fortune teller. Uh, each night they choose two players. They learn if either is the demon and there is a good player that registers as the demon to them. So the, the fortune teller is just picking two players every night and I'll either say yes or no. <laughs> Uh, if I say yes, that's because one of the two players is either actually the demon or there's a, this extra bit of the fortune teller ability, which means that one of the good players reacts as though they were the demon to the fortune teller ability. Um, obviously, in this game, there's a third person that that could happen with, uh, which would be Chris the Recluse. Um, so they could theoretically get three. Obviously, there's no fortune teller in play, so it's not going to be an issue. And then the last one is the Slayer. Uh, once per game during the day, the Slayer can publicly choose a player. They would say in the middle of the town square, with everyone listening, I am the Slayer and I would like to shoot this person. If that person is the demon, they die instantly. Um, no ifs, no buts, they just die immediately. Um, so an incredibly powerful townsfolk ability, if you can pick the right person. The problem is, if you pick anyone but the demon, nothing happens. You got all those, Adam? I do, and they're up on screen. So I am surprised that you gave them you gave them Chef, which I think is a brilliant play. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you gave them Fortune Teller and Slayer. You gave them some easy characters to claim there. I did. Um, but I also I'm aware that Hazel as the spy is going to be getting the full grimoire, so she's going to know these anyway. And so what I'm wanting to do is make Hazel think a bit harder because obviously the problem for hazel is if she doesn't talk to aggie early she doesn't know what aggie's going to claim from her bluffs and she doesn't know if she can claim one of those um mm. so what you'll see a lot of spies doing is uh deliberately claiming roles that aren't in the bluffs and aren't in play um, but in this scenario i've taken away the more powerful ones from hazel to do that and moved them on uh, into aggie's bluffs so they might actually have to have a conversation earlier than they would have done otherwise Very good, thank you. Okay. So, speaking of, the players should all now know what characters they are. And Very let's nice. go start talking to people. Jag me, please, Ed, wherever you go uh, first. Will do. Hello, Hazel. Hi. Oh, my goodness. There we go. You okay. Okay. Um, and you, so you are the minion, you are the spy, your demon is Aggie. And okay. I, I will be back with your information later on. All right, thanks. Enjoy. Hello, Aggie. Hello. Uh, as you've probably seen by now, you are the imp. Yeah. Uh, your minion this game is Hazel. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we joked about this before, before the stream. <laughs> yeah, well, you probably shouldn't have done that, um, but you'll be fine. What could go wrong? Um, your bluffs, your not-in-play characters this game are the chef, mm -hmm. the fortune teller, mm -hmm. and the slayer. Okay. All happy? Yeah, cool. Thank you. Enjoy. So just to run chat through, that, that phase literally only happens once, this first night of the game. Um, we tell the demon and minion who each other are, so they know who's on their team. 
and then we give uh, Aggie, the demon, the three not in play characters. And now after that, we are into game proper. Um, everything we do from now on is people's abilities. Uh, the first one I'm aware that you don't currently know is um, we are going to be showing Noel, the librarian, an outsider. So we have theoretically the option of Nikki the Saint or Chris the Recluse to show um, to Noel. But uh, again, I'm passing the buck for this to Adam. Um, Adam suggested it would be fun if instead we register the spy as an outsider and therefore we can throw some doubt as to whether uh, whether those two are actually outsiders or whether the spy or someone else is an outsider instead. Um, Who's the other person going to be though, Ed? I'm going to show uh, Hazel... I, I'm just torn between Pat or Marshall as the other one because um, I'm going to show the drunk and I feel like it's a little boon to town if I give them the idea that Marshall might be drunk um, and therefore Hazel could be evil or vice versa um, rather than polluting everything with the Undertaker information. So I think that's what I'm going with. Okay, sounds good. I've marked it up as Marshall. Cool. Uh, let's go tell Noel. Good hello, Noel. Hello, hello. I was about to start this conversation with good night, but that's felt really weird as a greeting. But it is technically night, so, you know. Um, but you, as the librarian, see that either Marshall or Hazel are the drunk. Okay. Good Enjoy. to know. Thank you. is actually an amazingly simple night because now we're just going to Marshall who as the empath as we mentioned is going to be told how many of their alive neighbors are evil um, and as again as mentioned Hazel's going to be registering as good this first night and so we're going to say zero and then after that I'm going to jump straight down into Hazel's chat because we're going to send her an image of the grimoire of what we can see with all pe everyone's characters okay hey Marshall Hello. Uh, you get a zero. Okay. Uh, quick question. Sure. Me is method tag a thing here or not? It is not in this game. We've got enough complication. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> no zero. worries. Night one. Okay. Right. Cheers, Marshall. Thank you. Although, sorry, I continue. Okay, Hazel. I am just sending you your information now. Um, Obviously, you can have as long as you like if you just let me know when you are done. Okay. Are you sending it via private message on Discord? Yes. Okay. Uh, just processing. There we go. It's yours now. Okay. Pat is the Undertaker. Tyler is the Virgin. Noel is libra Ooh, Librarian. Chris is Recluse. She has a spy that is librarian the scene then. Marshall is hidden behind the bluffs. So wait, no, Marshall's the empath. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're slightly hidden behind the bluffs. I thought you'd cope yeah. with that one. I'm okay with being slightly hidden. <laughs> okay. Um and do I know who the librarian sees? Yes, I do. Oh, the librarian sees me. Shit. Okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> Welcome. Here to help. Bye. Rock on, thank you. <laughs> I'm all set. You're good? Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Hazel. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to jump back to Hazel for just a second. Sure. So, Hazel, what do you think the librarian has seen you as? <sighs> it could be any of them. I mean, the Satan recluse for in play, so I could have been seen as the butler. Or the pa hello, where am I? Okay, okay. I could have been seen as the butler or drunk, rather than one of the ones in play. Or I could just let the librarian think they're drunk because, and then someone's lying about being recluse or saint. Mm. Um, I think I'm gonna go with not being an outsider, and the librarian is just gonna have to roll with that. All right. Good That's, luck uh, with that then, Hazel. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. 
Hayes has got the right idea there. At least that's that's a good sign for evil. Yeah. I don't. I, I think I said this to you in a private message. I don't think. I don't think we've had a saint loss on stream, have we? I don't think we've had one in TB. Certainly not in the games that I've been involved in. It's possible that Capelli and Tyler have one. I've not noticed. Yeah, it could be an Aussie game or yeah, it could be on one of those, I guess. But I don't remember seeing one. So this should be fun. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that with Hazel being out there and Aggie on the evil team, they're going to be able to push this and we're going to have a Nikki executed day yep. two. Day two is what I'm going to go for. It, yeah, it sort of depends what bluffs uh, Aggie decides to go with. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So we're going to go with another prediction. Prediction prediction's going up. I'm going to leave it running for 20 minutes. You all have your chance. You don't have to bet in straight away, but you need to get it in before the end of the 20 minutes, everyone. You don't need to rush in. Take a look at the game. See how it's going. See if we can get you some free points. Here we go. Good or evil, who's going to win? Okay. Um, should we jump up and uh, kick this off then while people are predicting? Let's do it. Good morning, town. You have this odd feeling uh, that everyone can see you, and it's like like there's more than just the nine of you stood in this room where it's almost <laughs> like as you look up at Adam and my bodies uh, on the clock tower, it's almost like there's some sort of panopticon of people just staring at you and judging your every move. But, you know, don't worry about that. If you could just murder each other for a while, that'd be great. Are we on the screen? All right. Uh, uh, Marshall, would you like to have a chat? Sure. All right. Meet me in the. Okay. Hazel, I would love to have a chat with you, please. Um, who was that? It was Noel. Okay, sure. Let's go. Uh, Chris, do you want to chat? Let's see who's yeah, talking. Yeah, sure, Nikki. Chat. Let's go. Let's see where do we go? Don't need to look at the colleges. Sorry about that. Let's see. So we've got. Hey, power oh, couple. God. What's up? Hi, Tyler. Uh, Y'all want to claim while we're in here? Uh, sure. Oof. All right. Shall we just take this private? Uh, no. I well, I mean, unless you are afraid of, we're gonna get invaded in here. I mean, this is a town square. It we is are. The town square. It, 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 it's okay. probably gonna happen. That's, that's my yeah. question. Okay. Well, we don't have to then. Oh, so you'll only claim in the town square? No, I just was. I'm trying to keep an eye on where everybody's going. I don't want to move around. Okay. I'm trying to enough. keep an eye on whispers. Uh, I'll give you a claim if you give me a claim. Oh. Sorry, my mom decided to phone me. Uh, Great. <laughs> go away. Um, uh, yeah, go, 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 go for it. All right, cool. I will tell you that I am the recluse. Oh. Uh, I am also an outsider. I'm the saint. Oh, uh, fun. Okay. So I hope that chat is appreciating my um, star crown. Uh, which I put on purely because I'm the saint, and I was like, <laughs> that's something that's nice and ain't like. So I'm already in costume. Um, nice, I course. like it. I like it. <laughs> I'll appreciate the cosplay. Um, cool. right. Okay, um, I might just casually lie to everyone else and pretend to be something more interesting okay. than the recluse. Uh, Let's see if we'll find a third outsider and see if it's a Baron game. Baron game, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice one, Nikki. Chat to you later. Yeah. That was good. I'm going to just switch it to a fade cut going forward. We'll skip that stuff. Who do we want to jump into next? Let's go see. Let's go see what Hazel and Chris are talking about. Hazel and Chris. Is that right? Uh, what's on here? I'll tell you I'm either the recluse, fortune teller, slayer, or uh, raven keeper. All right, dude, please tell me if you're the recluse because you're one of my things as the investigator. Oh, spicy. I am the recluse. Oh, okay. So I saw you and Noel, <laughs> and Noel is claiming a top four who saw me. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I didn't get much out of And I claimed top four. And then he's like, well, I'm top four. And I'm like, so if I can, and he's like, if I can be believed. Um, and I was just like, yeah, I think 
the other thing, but you were in conversation. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm Ooh. top four. I saw a poisoner between you and Noel, who was also claiming top four. But if you're the recluse, right. that is that great. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Doesn't right. necessarily clear no, but if he no, it doesn't. A top but... four, we can kill him anyway. Okay. All right. What were the other two you gave me, by the way? I already forgot. Because as soon as you said recluse, I was like, oh my god, that's what oh, I need. Oh, all right, cool. Well, I think I said fortune teller or slayer. Fortune teller or slayer? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. I had somebody else give cool. me those names too. And... Oh, cool. If it helps, I also hard claims recluse to Nikki. Uh, oh, did you really? All right, as cool. my one claim. So he can right. he can back me up. Nice. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. All right. Cool. Thanks, Hazel. Hey, Phil, you want to talk? Yeah, let's go. Barbershop. Oh, investigator. You're the investigator? I'm. Yep, I am the investigator who saw a poisoner between people claiming recluse and top four. Um, I have Pat as Undertaker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tyler is virgin. I Which know I these two, yeah. Noel is a librarian who saw an outsider between me and the empath who was Marshall. Um, oh. but I <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, Madeline is the mayor. Nikki is the saint. Chris is the recluse. Jesus. Uh, Chris is the recluse. Okay. Uh, yeah, Madeline is the mayor. To... Marshall was what? Marshall is the empath. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, and... Madeline Maya. Yep. Okay, and Nikki? Saint. Oh, okay, totally missed that. Okay. okay. I am well, going to try claimed... to... Go ahead. I claimed Slayer to Pat and Tyler. Oh, okay, cool. That works. Um, everyone has claimed Fortune Teller or Slayer to me. <laughs> Great. Well, these are both gloves as a chef. Yeah. If you want to pivot to chef. Don't know. No, I'm sticking with I'm sticking with investigator who saw a poisoner between Noel and um, Chris. Uh, okay. Uh, so are you gonna nominate them or? Uh, well, Noel came out to me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Chris came out to me as the recluse. So mm. I'm assuming that I pinged off of the recluse, but I can nominate the virgin and die to that information, which will throw you can Noel try. into a whole bunch of fuzzy balls because he got he um he got an outsider between me and an empath. So basically, I'm throwing off the fact that I got shown as an outsider to the empath. Oh, I'm okay. Librarian. Yeah, you try and do that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. All right, good luck. We'll find out what happens. Okay. Cheers. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, since you're all here anyway, uh, hey. no one... Hey, Nikki. Hazel to Nikki, do you have time to chat real quick? Uh, uh, nominations are open. No nominations are open. Oh, we, yeah, we, because we, we still have a minute. It says two minutes for whispers at 1240, so that means we have a minute. Yeah, yeah. you have less than a minute, but you can go right. for it if you like. Don't worry. 12, 11, 10. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, any nominations? Uh, anyone got any good leads? I heard that the investigator saw a poisoner, but I also heard that they hit the recluse and they're one in there too. I have heard of an investigator in, in people's claims. I've also heard of a virgin in people's claims as well. It'd be nice if those two find each other. Yes. Mm. Yes. Is virgin. there a virgin? I'm happy to nominate a virgin if no one else is. Go for it, Hazel. Nominate me. Hazel would like to nominate Tyler. Uh, Hazel nominates Tyler and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Holy willikers. I'm going to tell you all that. So, chat, just to let you all know, death shrouds are a problem for me. 
<laughs> I haven't figured. I haven't added Deshi at the top, so we'll just have to remember that Hazel's name is okay. slightly Hazel's name is slightly faded, which indicates that they are dead. Just remember that chat. Just remember that chat. Ah, oh, nice. <clears throat> uh, oh, of course, because you can't see the the shroud. Cool. So, I wasn't sure if you were going to kill Hazel there or not. I was like, is he going to let Hazel I, be? Or? I think that I don't think it's necessarily in Hazel's interests to have done that. Um, but mm. it kind of depends who she was claiming with her investigator info. I didn't actually hear that. I just know that she's claimed Nolan poisonous. Chris. Ooh, that's not ideal. Um, well, they're uh, saying they pinged off the recluse. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so I now it's going to look like Marshall's drunk, right? That's what I think she was trying to do there. Yeah, possibly. Um, possibly, that's true. I mean, the alternative is that, that Noel's just the poisoner in her world. She can probably sell that a little bit, but... Yeah, so um, for context there, uh, Hazel is the spy, can register as a good townsfolk, uh, the virgin ability procs if they're nominated by a townsfolk, um, so I could just, when Hazel nominated, uh, I had the choice, did I want to uh, kill Hazel with the virgin ability by registering as a townsfolk, or did I want to leave her alive by registering, registering her as an outside, outsider or minion? Uh, clearly, I went with the killing hazel option um which means that tyler's ability is now used but he is 100 percent confirmed he has to be the virgin that's the only way that that could have happened which is great for the good team because they've now got a solid rock of core information they know that tyler's good and they can work from there it also means that at some point aggie is going to have to kill tyler because the worst thing not the worst thing but a terrible thing for her is getting into a final three when one of the people is confirmed good and it's just between her and one other person so, in some ways, that is restricting evil's options for this one. Do you have anything else you want to throw in there, Adam? Nope. But just to add to chat, chat saying that Noel could be the drunk librarian. That is also fine, because what it would still indicate is that either the recluse or the sane are lying. And that's what Absolutely. they need to try and get out there. I think I hope Aggie doesn't kill Pat yet is what I'm looking for. I need that. I'm I... Looking... Yeah, I think Aggie is probably going to go... She's going to trust me to register Hazel to Pat as something favourable, and I suspect she'll kill Marshall. Um, mm. But we will see. We will have to find out. Uh, that as sounds it happens, good. That also the helps. Place we're going. Because it hopefully would then also show that Marshall will be getting killed before they get a read on Nikki. I think that... I'm, I'm not meaning to push that too much. Well, I am, but, you know, that's how it's working out <laughs> in my world. Let's see yeah. how this goes. Yep, uh, still dragging you, I'm assuming? Yeah, please. Cool. Aggie. Hello. Who like to kill tonight? I think it's gonna be Marshall. Marshall to die. Okay, thank you very much. So, as we said, um, Aggie's killed Marshall. Uh, you'll notice, uh, I don't know if you can see that. You can't. Um, so, uh, oh, you can just about. Um, Aggie acts before Marshall in the Night Order. Uh, so Marshall is getting no information tonight. He is already dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, so that makes our night a little bit easier because actually this means that all we have left to do is talk to Pat. Um, now, if I wanted to, I could show Pat spy if I really thought that the evil uh, the evil team needed nerfing slightly um, and giving the good team a clue. This early on, I think I'm going to show Pat um, what Hazel was bluffing. I'm going to show him Investigator. Um, yeah, you've you've marked Pat on the grimoire there, Adam, uh, as killed, not Marshall. My bad, thank you. Um, thanks, chat, who are paying attention. Uh, I'm <laughs> all the things at once. Um, but yes, so we're going to wake up Pat. We're going to show him the investigator token, and then that will back up Hazel as actually being the investigator that nominated the Virgin. And like we said, with Marshall also dying, is going to throw some shade on Noel, which will be interesting. Let's do this. All right. Uh, where is Pat? Hello, Pat. Now we do. All right. Um, you see the investigator token. Oh, fascinating. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Okay. Fine. I will follow you up then, Ed. Yeah. No, that was good. This is this is turning out good. For, I mean, at the end of the day, Hazel killing themselves. It's not always an optimal play when they are the only out for the demon. If something happens for the demon to get get screwed, like 
it's it's hazel was there any out but at the end of the day hazel's now got hopefully enough shade being thrown down south right that shade has got to be being thrown towards Noel, chris and nikki is what they are trying to do heavily yeah absolutely so like fundamentally what we most likely have to expect here is i'm not sure who gets executed today but aggie has already made her slayer claim to tyler as the now confirmed virgin so she's got that done already um so it's a bit interesting to see what goes on during the day but aggie probably kills pat at night unless she really wants to keep him alive as a suspect option um because the great thing from Aggie's point of view is that Hazel actively claimed to be the investigator during the day today, so Pat's not actually proving himself as the Undertaker. If if Pat if no one had known what Hazel was before she died, and Pat comes comes up to Hazel and goes, "You're this," great, confirms who Pat is. He's definitely the Undertaker. Only way he can know that. But because Hazel outed it publicly, he is still in a position of not being confirmed. Yeah, Mr. Guy said, but if Marshall gets executed, well, Marshall's just been killed by the demons, so we don't have to worry about that right absolutely so the the i mean at the end of the day leaving pat out there just is if pat knows everyone's role it's just gonna make him look like a spy like that's all that's all that's gonna happen just trying to keep any shade elsewhere other than aggie is is hazel's goal right now right that's that's all we're looking for or that's yeah. all they're looking for should i say obviously yeah, i'm absolutely. impartial mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> all right definitely let's go not do evil day, at all let's go do day three let's do this day two sure day two <laughs> good morning town i am sorry to announce that marshall has joined hazel adam and i in death okay oh okay. can we talk uh, real quick Night oh you got time for me now Madeline, huh? yes i do i don't know who said my name yeah i'll just go hang out in uh nikki's asylum people want okay to whoever said my name i'll go to um shenanigan shed Shit. Let's go see what's going on with Tyler and Nikki. Oh, okay, cool. Well, um... Hello? Oh, there you are. Yeah, you can't hear me? Yeah, I can hear All you right. now. Um, well, I appreciate Chris your... aimed reckless to me. Uh, that was in a direct one-for-one -one very start for of us could get fluffed or anything so y'all uh, heard of butler of we haven't not yet um okay. i'm gonna be bluffing uh kind of like an empire and claiming that i'm getting ones because i'll be sat next to the recluse in either you might get a two now with madeline around so. all right well, i mean uh, if, if it's a recluse then um saying one is still believable yeah that's true let, let me uh, let me see if I can get, get other folks to roll in on me. We'll have fun. Thanks, Nikki. Okay. Gonna go jump into Chris and Madeline. It is now that I look okay for the camera. Brilliant. Uh, uh, so, um, t how many rolls do you want to exchange? I could do a three for three. All right. Um, um, I need to... Oh. Sorry, you, you go first. All right. Um, I'm either the mayor, the soldier, or the monk. Ooh, cool. Um, I'm either the fortune teller, the slayer, or the raven keeper. Let's keep in mind, nice. Chris is the recluse, is Madeline's the mayor. <laughs> Thanks. We need more raven keeper claims in this world, but then again, we get like, <laughs> it goes so diluted in value. Once people start doing it, it's like, uh. Yeah, yeah, true. All right, right. I gotta go chat with Tyler. Cool. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Claim two besides my neighbors was Nikki and Noel. Okay. I'm gonna hop up. Thanks. And my chef number would be zero, so we can probably leave people around Chris alone. That would be... that is true, that is very helpful. A chef zero or slayer. Okay. Good to go. 
Okay, well, thanks again. Uh, yeah, okay. Checking people. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so, but. I, I, yeah. I, now our first date conversation makes a lot more sense to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but that. Yeah, but it turns out my other pain claimed recluse, so. Oh. Hmm. So, this is interesting. Great. Yeah. And of okay. course, there's always the option that you might be the spy, too. So yes, there is always that option, um, which would be pretty gnarly, but I would be happy about that if that was the case as well. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it would right. be interesting. Uh, but yeah, that, that's all I had to say. So okay. we probably go back. Yep. Don't know why Chris's head is like that. Sorry, chat. No, sorry, Noel's head. All right. Oh, I'm dead and can't nominate. Are you... Aggie, is there any chance I could convince you to nominate Madeline? Madeline? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll nominate her if you provide the accusation, I guess. Yes. Yep. I will okay. do that. Yeah, that's a deal. Sure. Uh, oh, yeah, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Okay. Uh, I'm still waiting to talk to Chris or Tyler. Your sound's a little wonky. Madeline. So Madeline, good. All right. All right. Sorry, I think the connection's a bit weird. All right. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah. Nice. All right, cool. All right, so Madeline's good. A lot of people are dead. Hazel's, Tyler's... Hazel's probably good. She could be the spy, I suppose. Yeah. But if she is, then she's a dead spy. And it True. doesn't matter if we talk to her. All right. Cool. Um, any suspicions on anyone yet? Uh, Nikki, a little bit. Just because he also claimed empath yeah. and fortune teller and implicated you as one of his pings. <laughs> Classic Nikki. Cool. Yeah. Um... Not sure I want to kill Nikki just yet. Maybe no. Um, yeah, I talked to them and uh, I don't know. I don't have any vibes off of them. Fair yet. enough. Okay. I'm All gonna right. Back. I'm gonna head back. Cool. Chat you later. Nolan time. Means that either Hazel is the townsfolk that she's claiming, but a spy is a real possibility. My other pig was Marshall, for what it's worth. I, they're both I mean, dead. I'm just gonna be. They were both as the drunk. So. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. Let me let me see if I can't get Hazel's investigator. Well. She couldn't have been the drunk. She could have been the spy, I guess, but not the drunk. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, okay. it's also totally possible that Marsha was just the drunk and Hazel is really the investigator. Apparently, I was one of her investigator pings, is what she's claiming right now. Okay. All right, thanks, Noel. Sure thing. Reasonable. Good evening, town. Nominations are open. Uh, Aggie would like to nominate Madeline. Aggie... <gasps> Nominates Madeline. Can you tell us why? Uh, Hazel asked me to, so uh, Hazel would like to provide the accusation. Mm, okay, holy moly. I've gotten so much information today that just contradicts each other. Okay, so I have three outsider claims. I have heard a hard claim of Recluse, who is one of my two pings as the poisoner. Um, I have heard a hard claim of Drunk from a librarian who said they saw me as a potential drunk and was one of my two poisoners. Um, Pings. I have also heard of a hard claim of Saint, but here's why I wanted Madeline nominated. Um, oh, thank you, Pat, for the reminder. So the other drunk ping is now dead, according to what I've been told. And that other now dead drunk ping hard claim to Madeline on day one, and now they're dead. So if they're the drunk, then Madeline's evil. And also one of the Saints or recluses is evil. But that, that was why I want Madeline nominated. Okay, Madeline, your defense. Okay. Um, based off of what I've heard, I believe their information, um, if they are drunk, they were given accurate information. If they were sober, well, yeah, same business. I think this is the time, if you think I'm suspicious, to get me out of here now. Because if you get me down later in the game, you're just going to give yourself a really bad time. Okay. 
Four votes required. Well, I'd be voting for that. Execute Madeline starting in countdown time. <laughs> also read that as oh, my Scarlet Woman's vote. still alive, so. I guess we've suddenly decided not to do this then. Mm. Wow. <laughs> well, I saw. His hand was raised. Sorry, like, <laughs> three. Everybody for it. Then. Three is not enough. Patrick nominates Chris. Patrick, tell us why. Chris has been awfully sketchy with his angelic voice today. So <laughs> basically, uh, that hand did not go up where we know we have a potential evil person. He had plenty of time to raise it, which means that they are more than likely in cahoots. So the that plus the absolute caginess and the fact that he's basically trying to get me somehow put suspicious and killed means that I would very much want him out of tea, out of the town, out of here, out of the game, just out in general. Okay, Chris, oh. how do you feel about being told to get out? <laughs> to get out? Um, I don't mind getting out. I know I'm not loved, Pat. Um, yeah. Welcome I to modern day Britain. Kind... <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of confirmed by a top four role, in a way, in a sense. Um, but yeah, if people assassinate me, then they're welcome to vote with me. Right. Okay. Can I add for to... information? Go for it, Aiden. Is there a butler claim anywhere? Because if there's a butler claim, then we have a baron game, and I there believe is. Chris. No if one's claimed butler. All right. If there's no butler claim, then one of our three outsiders is lying. Four required. Uh, or the librarian got poisoned. That's absolutely all. That's also possible. That is possible. Uh, I think this yes. is helpful in any okay. case. Okay. Chris, your hand's still okay. There, there you go. There you go. Seven. <laughs> Seven is enough. Given that's the entire living population of town, uh, Chris Correct. is on the block. Five seconds for any other nominations. Oh, silence. There's a slayer. I might slay the. I might slay Madeline. Yeah. Go Come on, Noah. Chris is executed and dies, and everyone goes to sleep. you had all right that was good yeah that was that was good for evil should i say yeah that's that's perceived save on madeline i think is going to be um a weapon that hazel is going to push on tomorrow i think aggie is going to quite happily sort of shelter in the background on this um but it'll be interesting to see who aggie kills tonight because i think like if i'm aggie i'm tempted to kill tyler tonight um, because T Patrick getting that extra night of information doesn't doesn't help, doesn't do anything for the good team, because Aggie knows that Chris is the recluse, and she knows that the odds of me showing Pat the recluse are quite low. Um, so, and she doesn't really want to kill Madeline because Madeline's suspicious. Um, Noel is another suspicious option. Obviously, Nikki as the saint is worth keeping around. So, yeah, personally, I'm going for Tyler here. What do you reckon, Adam? Um, if if it was me, I would probably be just pushing on Madeline at this point, just just trying to get you because at one point you're going to have to kill Madeline if the demon keeps targeting them. Is probably my thought process, and you can't kill Aggie. So at this point, mm -hmm. and you can't kill one of Aggie's minions. So at this point, if I was Aggie, I would just be going, I want that, I want that mayor gone. I know they're the mayor. Kill the mayor, please. Like Fair that's, enough. But um, but yeah, I I wouldn't be killing Pat. I mean, maybe this is also a good time to get rid of Tyler. But yeah, yeah. I, I would be I, there's no one else there's no one else to get rid of right you don't get rid of pat in this situation yeah madeline's someone you need to get rid of at some point tyler's someone you need to get rid of at some point and you don't get rid of uh nikki or noel right so cool anyway let's do uh, this let's go find out hello aggie who would you like to kill tonight i think it's got to be tyler because i'm trying to frame other people <laughs> cool tyler it is thank you very much there we go there we go. Um, so again, we've got a very simple night. Um, Tyler's dead, but that doesn't matter because he'd already used his ability. And then Patrick, what do you reckon? I was going to show. Obviously. Yeah, like, there's nothing interesting about that one, I think. Um, so again, despite the fact that Patrick is sober, he they have proceeded to execute the only two characters that can register <laughs> and not. Um, so <laughs> sequentially executing the spy and then the recluse means that Patrick has got bollocks uh, this game. But, you know, sometimes that happens. So let's go tell Patrick. Hello, Patrick. I'm still alive. Well, you are still alive. Uh, you saying that, but gone. 
Yeah, you, I, I mean, I understand your surprise. Um, in your position, I would be surprised as well. But uh, you are shown the Poisoner token. Not surprising. Fair enough. Um, but hey, yeah. oh, Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. Oh, the, oh, you, oh, you guys are maybe the drunk and you're terrible people, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, why not both? Or <laughs> neither, who knows? Hear, just, just, just whisper everything they want to hear into my ears, just like that, Ed. I know, I, I know you're capable of that. You know I love telling you sweet nothings, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> True. Have Thank fun. You. Okay. Uh, so we are going to leave it for a brief pause, just so that there is the potential of a spy after, acting after Patrick. Um, but after that, we're just going to be waking people up for day three, <laughs> despite Adam's attempt to time travel us yesterday. <laughs> it was cl I was close, right? I was I was close. It was almost you know. almost worked. You guys all you almost fell for it, but no. Uh huh. Uh huh. So now actual day three. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's go do it. Good morning, town. Again, the numbers of the dead rise as Tyler joins us. Oh. Okay. Right. Um, Tyler, can we talk? Sure, sure. let's do it. Aggie, okay. this is Noel. Can we talk in backstab? Sure, Noel. Or not let's there. Go. Oh, yes, there. <laughs> ah, sorry, chat. You saw what I was setting up ready for this. I'm sorry. Let's go see. Noel and Chris. Noel claimed librarian who saw either me or Marshall as the drunk. Yeah, Chris so we know, we know you're not the drunk. Yeah, we know I'm not the drunk. Chris claimed recluse. Marshall told me that he was an empath with a zero and only hard claim to Madeline day one. To me, he did not claim empath, but he claimed empath to me after I died after nominating you and he woke up dead. Hence my whole, oh, wow, we got to go after Madeline. After I found out from Noel that Marshall was the other potential drunk, when, which clearly I wasn't. However, that's why whenever Noel was my poisoner ping along with the recluse, Chris. Um, and then Nikki claimed Saint, to whom um, Chris claimed Recluse to day one, and he told me Nikki could back him up. Hence all of the all over the place information. So I asked Aggie if she'd be willing to nominate Matt for me after my conversation with Noel, but then after that I talked to Nikki, and then suddenly we had a third outsider in play. Well, like I said, we have a, uh, we have a Slayer claim, and if... I think it would probably be in our best interest to have a Slayer fire at Madeline and just see what we get. All right, so. cool. I mean, we executed Chris, right? So Slayer can't prove the recluse claim. I don't think. I don't think. I mean, this is metaing. I don't think Ed is going to let them do that on a in a game where the. I think the only potential Undertaker I've spoken to was Marshall. All right. Okay. Marshall was yeah. claiming Undertaker. I mean, it was it was in a three, so. All right. Okay. Fair enough. And they were all like, it was like a standard sort of powerful three, uh, situation. So. So from what Tyler, you know, do you think Hazel, the? This is not Town Square. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's this not me doing it this time. <laughs> it it had to happen. It had to happen. Yeah, Why do people pay backstab? Yeah. Yeah, no one wanted to go to backstab. I just, so, I just picked backstab. It was the, it's the first one. No, on the you, list. you should pick the first one from the bottom, and then nobody is gonna, you know, go there by That's mistake. True. true, good chat. Lesson uh, yeah. learned, chat. Go to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have, as I was saying, no, I don't really have much more to contribute because I don't have anything else that can corroborate any of my my theories at this moment um but th so that's just yeah okay fair enough uh mm -hmm. well thank you for that information i don't really have anything more myself sounds good i do okay cool what have we got going on down there hey Joel, how are you spending your death four-way chat i see i got so much information yesterday that made me basically but there was no butler, so... So, I don't think it's a Baron Gate. Well, yes. Yeah, no, I don't, but, yeah. Um, I think Noel is the poisoner and has made up the librarian thing. Yeah. Because I'm sure he's off the recluse, so she needs to be drunk. It'd be pointless. All right, let me uh, let me see what uh, Pat needs real quick. Um, and... I'm going to go talk to Noel and, and I trust and see what he gives me. 
I already know his claim, I, but I guess it's yeah. just, yeah. I want to see what he says, I guess. Okay. Yeah, right oh, now I'm thinking Madeline's good, Noah's the poisoner, and the demon's one of the other three. I think it oh, could no. be Aggie. I saw them in a convo, but that could mean nothing. We have no. Uh, yes. Ooh, okay. I mean, it could mean shit, but still. Something. <laughs> Do you know what she's claiming? She's Not my only blank face. She's my blank too. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind Pat or Aggie executed today. Yeah, but on the other hand, I actually... Do I you mind it, saying what you are, Madeline? I'm the mayor. So we could just... Oh, uh, okay. We could just get rid of Noel and go for the mayor win. With no go for mayor win. Is that actually not a bad idea? Yeah. Because damn the concert. The danger there would be if, if Nikki's if Nikki's actually the demon and not the saint and you're the drunk, but Again, no claims of a drunk ping on me. Yeah. Uh, I'd be happy to feel good about a mayor win this game. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, like, that could be right. If All right. be good with the mayor win too. Poisoner, get rid of the poisoner, go for the mayor win. Well bam, victoire. Let's cool, you team. sold me. I'm on board. Let's do Hell this. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. Uh, uh, oh, for the for the sake of chat, uh, I was trying to come up with ways of me getting killed in the night, and I'm trying to suggest um, that we make it sound like I'm an undertaker, and if we execute the librarian, then I can check them, find out things. Hopefully, I get killed in the night. <laughs> Good evening, town. Nominations are open. It's day um, three. Madeline uh, would like to nominate Noel. Madeline nominates Noel. Madeline, tell us why. Um, if they are what they claim to be, this should be fine. However, there is suspicion that they could be evil. So I've heard from other people. Okay. No. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, three votes required to execute Noel. Pertinent information, I'm Undertaker confirmed, and the recluse is confirmed as the recluse by the Undertaker as well. So that helps oh, us interesting. Noel. <laughs> the Undertaker <laughs> confirmed the recluse? Yeah, they saw the, the recluse with the imp. Ha. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good confirmation. Three yeah, is sorry. enough. Uh, Noel pertinent is Pertinent information, the that is not accurate. That's oh. what I was told. Well, that information is inaccurate. Oh, I'm so. sorry. No. It's okay. I don't think it's your fault. Which part is inaccurate, Tyler? Okay, the, yeah. Three is enough. not seen as the imp. Noel is currently on the chopping block. Uh, ten seconds for any other nominations. Oh. Hey, it's Nikki, can you walk us through your initial conversation with Chris? Uh, or just wait might... till later? We both hard claimed one to one. Chris said recluse. I said my role. Okay. Noel is executed and dies, and if one goes to sleep. That was interesting. Yeah, that isn't. Oh, Chris is still in town square. Tight. It's moving a bit yeah, okay. slow. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah if... I'm not was like, Aggie's going to slay shoot Madeline. Aggie's going to slay shoot Madeline. Aggie's going to slay shoot Madeline. Nothing happens. Like, what? Hmm. I wonder why. Like, I didn't hear the conversation. Did Aggie say that they were going to slay shoot Madeline? Um, I heard not Aggie actively confirming. I heard um, Hazel saying publicly that what's going to happen is that the, the Slayer is going to shoot Madeline and Aggie was there. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, it was a bit interesting. Um, and I'm, yeah, really curious that no one pushed that and that we had that vote on Noel, which got exactly three, and then no one wanted to push any worlds at all, which I'm finding quite odd. But, you know, um, I'm, I mean, yeah, this, I think this night is pretty simple. Aggie kills Pat, and then that's that. But yeah, interesting. We'll have to see what see what arguments come out tomorrow. Mm.
Aggie. And Who would you like to kill? I think it's got to be Pan. Just a bit of uh, matrimonial bliss. Gentle murder in the night. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks, Aggie. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I mean, like I think, I've, like I've said it before, I would have been leaving Pat alive. I think I would be leaving Pat alive and probably trying to kill Madeline at this point. Yeah, I think I possibly agree with that. Um, yeah. Uh, there's, there's. I mean, she had all the options there, really. Like, she knows that staying alive, she's going to have to slay or shoot someone. She needs to. She has to want to slay or shoot Nikki because if she confirms Madeline is not demon. She's selling a world where Madeline's actually the mayor, so it's risky either way. Yeah, what are you going to do tonight now if they select Madeline? Um, well, they have selected Pat, which is was fine. If they have selected next night, then next day. Um, as in, if they slay Madeline. Oh shit! No, it's three. It's, it's yeah, three. three. It's going to be three alive. Wow, this is final three. This went quicker than I realized. Yep. Yeah. Turns out that even when I'm explaining everything that's going on, I'm still not physically capable of taking two hours to run TB. Um, but you know, you'll get there. We try one day. One day, Ed, you'll get there. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, cool. Let's yeah. uh, let's go start the final day then. Let's see what happens. Uh, if I can get the command right, there we go. Good morning, town. In unfortunate news, it took me three attempts to copy-paste the command line correctly. Uh, <laughs> but that doesn't help Pat, because he's dead. Thanks. Stop us. All right. Um, I gotta come out right here, right now. I am the mayor. The reason I was going over after Noel is that I heard apparently they could be the poisoner. And I want to go for the mayor win, because the last time I, I panicked. But this time, I got confidence, and I'm ready to redeem myself. I'm not entirely convinced. Sounds legit. Uh, t Tyler. Hey, Aggie. Would you like me to like shoot anybody? Yeah, I'd probably shoot. Uh, considering what we got left, I would. Considering what we got. Yeah. Go through everybody's claims before. You shoot anyone? No, because I mean she's asking me, and I already know your claim. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So I mean. Surely we shoot the mayor and go for the mayor win if she survives. Uh, no, yes. she could be a minion. Yeah. Although like, Aggie could also. Uh, yeah. If she's a minion. Minion, and Aggie's the demon from my perspective anyway. Okay. Mhm. Mm I think Aggie has free will in her own agency. She should pick. Yeah, yeah, but I don't feel like I have full information because well, uh, I think we I think Mal Madeline because she was double claiming outsiders or being a... no no Hazel said that Madeline was claiming outsiders and no. Madeline's coming Bullshit. up. Oh, no. <gasps> That's not so what I said. here's oh, what we okay. here's what we know so far. Uh, I mean, is anybody everybody willing me. to let me tell folks what I know? It's final three, yes. so yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Use right. your storyteller voice, Tyler. <laughs> All right. <laughs> At the top of the hour. No. Uh, so, in terms of outsiders, we have three. Uh, we have two hard claims, and then we have a librarian that saw between two players a drunk. Both of those players are dead. The the two drunk pings. Noel, is, the librarian, is now dead. Um, so the other outsider claim that's still living is Nikki. They are the uh, the saint, which so yep. that's a good Slayer shot. Um, Madeline is claimed mayor to me since at least day two, because I, yeah, I couldn't get her to talk to me on day one. Um, and, uh, I, you know, so it's, uh, it's not normally the way I'd play mayor, but, you know, each, everybody gets their own style and does their own thing. So, uh, it would be good to shoot her in the case that you are the, the Slayer Aggie. I have my... I have my trepidation about you being the Slayer because I wasn't expecting you to wait this long to take your shot. And I'm a little surprised that you live this long because you, I mean, I don't know if you told anybody else, but you definitely told me and Pat pretty forthrightly on that first day. So I did it's tell you were the only two, two I was right. actually, you know, claiming. Uh, and you gave I me gave Jeff more. And Slayer. Yeah, I did. But did. Jeff. 
Also, oh. yeah, you know, I, it's one to I two. Will... Can I, I will... clarify the suspicion on Madeline connected to outsiders? Uh, um, I, yes, I got garbled. Go um, and, and you didn't say it. So, um, Marshall, are you okay if I explain? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, Noel, who I saw as a potential poisoner, says he saw either myself or Marshall as the drunk. I died to the virgin, so I'm not the drunk. Um, Marshall said that he got an empath zero and hard claimed only to Madeline on day one. If Marshall is the drunk who got a zero and then died after hard claiming to Madeline, that is why I am sus on Madeline. We'll say to Madeline, like her and I talked, we were the first whisperer of day one and she hard claimed Mayor to me immediately. Yeah. Okay. But why, why would Madeline kill a drunk? empath that's confirming if, that the if there's an evil player who is sitting next to a drunk empath you never know when that empath is going to be given um information that's true or you know they got a zero they're not going to get a zero every night Can when I didn't hear? marshall Sorry. die um, after hazel i mean it's just a sus it's just a sus that's all i respect it so ask what pat's claim is sure you can well <laughs> what, what is your claim it? pat well, Pat I mean, with the dad thing. joke. Okay. I just oh, did you see? What did you see, Mia? I saw Hazel as the investigator, and I saw Chris as the poisoner. Yeah. So to explain yesterday uh, why Hazel said imp, uh, that was me trying to get myself killed. Um. Okay. Yeah, Nick asked me to come out with Undertaker information very obviously after talking to him to make him look like he was the Undertaker, so he would die at night as the uh -huh. saint. And I agree. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> that worked out. I was executed most recently. Uh, what did did you see me as the librarian? I died. Oh right, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I got mixed up. Here's what I think Hazel needs to be doing. I mean, it's it would have been as one the of the demon. outsider claims. So. Yeah, I I want to say this thought. No matter who Aggie shoots, it's going to miss case, them. Especially because of the social reads more than anything else is that i do have a world wherein hazel is a spy who knows the empath is sober but mm, well actually never mind that the then the killing of the empath at that point doesn't make that much sense if maddie yep, yep. is evil um so Actually, I think that's less useful than I... It, it was an older theory that I don't think holds up very well. But I, <laughs> I think, think the, the, the crux of it is I sort of trust uh, Madeline's mayor claim at this point. I think I don't think Hazel would spy. It'd be weird to fake and investigate a thing on the recluse. Like, that's not that's not helping evil team at all. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would believe you, Chris, but you haven't, really played like, you haven't really played like a recluse. You just played like an out of the evil, which is, which is interesting. I don't know if you just play like that. <laughs> I <like> so, that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I can think of one reason to do that, though, which is, well, off the off the recluse, you're right. That is that is a sort of a strange. I I don't know because if if you could convince everybody that there was a poisoner when there wasn't, and like, uh, you know, the recluse could be showing the poisoner to the undertaker, maybe that would be useful. But yeah, this is yeah, kind yeah. of falling apart as I describe it, though. So I'm, I'm inclined to go for the mayor. Right. So who did we poison? Um, nominations are open. If there's a poisoner, who got poisoned? If Chris was seen as the poisoner, who did he poison the first two nights? We, we're guessing no. No, no, probably be my first pick. It's a neighbor. It just right. kind of checks down. Yeah. And then I, I would next, believe that. And then the next night, who? Ooh. The night Marshall died, who was poisoned? Chris, could you tell us who poisoned who you? Poisoned the following night. <laughs> um, I I poisoned myself, Pat. <laughs> yeah, totally you know, has, makes sense. Time to break. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was worth a, it was worth a try. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, Tyler, any suggestions, or should I just go with my gut? Oh uh, yeah. Just I mean, either either two candidates are good to shoot. If you shoot Madeline, then maybe that hardens up our uh, mayor claim. Let's go for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I claim Slayer and shoot oh. Madeline. Aggie. <laughs> <laughs> the motorcycle. The wow. I've never, I've never seen that weapon choice from a Slayer before. That was... 
Uh, Aggie Sorry, guys, claims Slayer mind. and pulls out her custom motorcycle, which has a foghorn <laughs> as a spoiler. Uh, <laughs> just unleashes like i think it's some sort of the foghorn is so powerful it launches the bike forward there's no engine involved it's like this this blast of foghorn fires the bike at madeline uh, unfortunately it misses completely <clears throat> nothing happens okay well then in that case i think i'll nominate nikki Aki nominates nikki what we don't have to nominate nikki yeah oh yeah right Hmm. We can't go for the mayo one. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we can trust that Madeline is not the imp because she survived. She might still be evil. Uh, yeah. And also, uh, do I get this correctly that Marshall the empath died just as he would be getting readings from Nikki, the supposed yep. saint? Yes. Um, I do not like that, and that's why I nominated Nikki. But if I we want to go for a Maya win, then that's also cool. To be fair, I claimed to yeah, I claimed to Nikki three powerful roles that weren't empath, trying to bluff as Raven's Keeper. Okay, Nikki, uh, your defense. Uh, well. Nikki's defense. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's pretty clear that like, how how is a Slayer still alive um, at this point? Um, especially how. Okay, so here, here, here's the thing. Knowing that I'm sat next to Chris the Recluse, Haggy gave me either Chef Zero or Slayer. I know that the Chef Zero wouldn't be true because I'm sat next to Disposed Recluse or somebody who could be my minion. So therefore, Aggie must be the Slayer. I would have killed Aggie ages ago. Um, like I think I'm happy for us to go to the, go for the Mayor win. Um, because I think Aggie is now panicking. Okay, two votes required to execute Nikki. I'm still gonna go for, for, for vote for Nikki. I wasn't in my seat in time. Let's, let's see who your it, minion is. But it's all good. Mayor win. One is not enough. Nikki is safe oh, for today. Nikki or win. Madeline, would you like win. to nominate? Oh. Nikki, are you oh. going to do it? Well, we, should, uh, we shouldn't scared. cross nominate. I, I'm, I'm going to ask Tyler. What do you think? Well, I mean, like I said, I, I uh, so on um, on my day one whisper track, I, Madeline talked to talked to Marshall. Uh, let's see, what was what were the other ones? That Actually, she talked as to? long as as long as it's not Madeline and Aggie, I think. I mean, that's kind of that's that's the threat, right? It, yeah. But uh, Aggie's Aggie nominating you, um, that seemed like the that, that that didn't seem like someone reacting to the the um, feeling like the the mayor was oh the relief of oh it's 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 a mayor claim okay great you know like that it didn't yeah. seem like that kind of relief mm -hmm. uh, so um, unfortunately I think Ags may be evil it's just a question of whether or not we think Madeline is evil. Uh, Hazel, who was your other poisoner thing, by the way? Uh, it was Nolan Chris. Nolan Chris. Okay, final call for nominations. Madeline yeah. and Nikki, your call. I'm I'm gonna say that I think that Noel is the poisoner. I think Aggie is the imp, and I'm just gonna leave it be. I think. If yeah, Nikki... I mean that's fine because if I am, then I'm not poisoning anybody. Uh, yeah. final, call, final call there, Nikki. You leaving it be? Yes. Madeline, you leaving it be? <laughs> yes. Okay. Do it. Do it. The town <laughs> does not execute with three alive. Oh, Ouch. guys. Oh, guys, what are you doing? It's a mayor win. Good team wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just incredible. <laughs> how often do we get a mayor win and we get it on our first camera game? I think I just says we should do more camera games. That's, that's what <laughs> that's <it says>. right. <clears throat> this is also my very first trouble brewing game on stream too. So that's nice. like next level <laughs> stuff. Good job. Yeah, start out with a bang. <laughs> yeah. So uh, running you around this this grimoire quite quickly, uh, starting from the top of the hour in Tyler style, we have Patrick, your undertaker. Uh, you proceeded to execute 
Uh, really bad choices for Patrick. We'll come back to that. Uh, Aggie was your imp, claimed Slayer with the bluffs of uh, Slayer, Fortune Teller, and Chef. Uh, Tyler, your virgin, obviously. Uh, Noel, your librarian. Come back to him. Uh, Chris, your recluse, and Nikki, your saint. There's your two outsiders. Hazel, your spy. Noel, you started telling us about it, and then you went, nah, it's not likely. It doesn't tally on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so Noel, the librarian, got shown that either Hazel, the spy, or Marshall, the empath, was the drunk. So coming back to poor old Pat, days one and two, you executed the two people that could register falsely to Pat's Undertaker, yeah. and then he got killed. <laughs> so, worst possible Undertaker experience. Uh, Marshall, your empath... I had a blast. <laughs> True. So Marshall, your empath, you got a zero, sat next to Madeline, your mayor. Uh, Aggie chose all of her own kills. There were no mayor bounces. Uh, she took Marshall out, having got the spy information off Hazel. Didn't want to kill Pat after a recluse execution, so she killed Tyler and then killed Pat when he was finally going to get something useful from Noel's execution. And that was your game of TB. I can't believe I, I nice. said it. I'm so wow. sorry, Noel. I, I was convinced you were with me. I didn't want to listen. <laughs> I loved oh, when I went so to the spy and was like, we should pretend that I'm the Undertaker and try and get me killed. <laughs> and I, I like, mean, yeah, on. <laughs> I, I will say, for Noel's benefit, he was not the only person who at various points posited that Hazel might be the spy, but that that isn't a likely play, in quotes. Um, <laughs> so you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, That's good. Yeah, other, I feel like other people managed to convince me that that couldn't possibly be true. Even when I was pretty sure that it was, but I guess I could always watch the stream back and see how true that seems in retrospect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who told you that that wasn't possible? Who lied to you? No. Uh, could it be the confirmed version? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> never, never listen to them. They'll never listen to. It, I didn't say. I didn't say she couldn't be the spy. It definitely went uh, through my thought process, but I didn't oh, put wow. a lot of. Cre I, I think I even said to Noel like. Oh yeah, she could be, but at this point, it doesn't matter. She knows everything. So the way I was looking at it from, from obviously the outside in is much easier to look at. And what I was looking at there was Hazel Aggie. You guys needed to be pushing this, the worldview that Nikki was the demon and that Madeline and Nikki was the poisoner and demon together. That was the only worldview where I thought you guys were standing a chance on that final day, right? If you'd have had it that, if you could have painted it in some way that Hazel was poisoned because they were sat next to Nikki, the demon, just in case they were the empath, which means that the poisoner wasn't over where Hazel was saying originally. That was your only world safe view at that point, unfortunately. It just didn't work out for you guys, but well, I thought well, you guys played a brilliant game up to that point. 